Hey everybody, welcome to our channel. And while you're here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications. On today's menu, we have Crab Rangoons. They're small, but they're packed with flavor. All right, we're glad you're here. We hope you enjoy our video and let's get to it. Okay, so here's what you need for today's recipe. Uh, we have an 8 ounce block of Philadelphia cream cheese. Um, you're going to need about a fourth of a cup of sliced green onions. You're going to need some uh, wonton wrappers. Make sure you get the smaller ones. They have bigger ones, but make sure you get the smaller ones. They have, uh, you're going to need some lump crab meat. Now you can use imitation or freshly cooked crab meat as long as you have like six ounces of it. You're going to need some W sauce. We have sweet red chili sauce for dipping. And we're going to season with garlic powder, parsley, and salt. And all of these will be down below in the description for you to refer back to. Okay, so I'm going to start by slicing up my uh, green onions. And I'm slicing these up kind of small. You don't want the pieces too big because you want them to be you know, evenly spread throughout your filling. But you don't want them too small that, you know, to the point where you'll miss them in your mm -hmm. filling as well. So just keep that in mind while you're chopping them up. Not too big, not too small. And you need about a fourth of a cup, which was two stalks for uh, me. And you can use a uh, green onion, I mean yellow onion, you can also use uh, red onion if you wanted to. But I just felt like green onion was one pretty and two not as invasive. Yeah, I think <laughs> this is a perfect choice uh, for this because of the, the hint, you know, the softness of it. And it's, it's flavorful, but not overpowering, mm -hmm. that's what I mean. Just like the crab. Exactly. Actually, so. So I just put that into a small little ramekin. So when I need them later, it'll just be easier to um, dump them into the cream cheese. And um, this cream cheese is softened, not room temperature. That's something that's, I think, very important. When you take out your cream cheese, I would only take them out maybe 10, 15 minutes before you were about to um, start, you know, the filling. Because if you, if there, if it's room temperature, the cream cheese are pretty much melt when you, you know, put them in your hot oil. So, right, and it's a really quick um, fry. So, right, if it's stiffer, it has more time to, you know, get in the grease without, um, like you said, melt mm -hmm. melting. So, so that was about a teaspoon of W sauce. We call it W sauce because we can't pronounce the, uh, the actual title easily. Yes, we can. It's the uh, 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 fish, 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 fish sauce. You see what I mean? <laughs> Where's <laughs> Shisha sauce? <laughs> Shishire. There you go. Right. Break it down. So we're um, seasoning with garlic powder, salt, and parsley, like we mentioned before. We went with garlic powder because I just felt like minced garlic or even pressed garlic would, would have been, you know, too overpowering um, for the dish. So I just went with garlic powder so would, you could get the taste of garlic but not, oh, there's garlic in this, definitely. I agree. Yeah. Good choice. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so this is uh, powdered sugar. This is another optional um, ingredient. I didn't show it in the beginning, um, but you might have had uh, rangoon served with a little bit of sugar in it, or you might not. It's served both ways, and I prefer the way that has a little bit of sugar. It's not over overly sweet. That's why we're only using only a tablespoon. Mm -hmm. and, it's a nice balance, mm -hmm. you know, for this. It went very well with everything that's that it's uh, mixed with. And when I ate these, I didn't think, oh, they're sweet. Mm -hmm. You know, so. it's just it's one of those things you'll notice if you've had both. You know? Right, right. Uh, and make sure you use powdered sugar because if you use granulated, it'll give it like a gritty texture because it, once again, you're only gonna be frying them for two to three minutes, so it won't get a time to really incorporate with your cream cheese. So what other kind of um, what else could you put in these? I would say any vegetable that you could consume potentially raw, like, you know, bell peppers, broccoli, you could use, like I said, other, mm -hmm. you could use other uh, types of onions. 
And I've also seen people put cilantro on these, so. Let's see, if I was making these for myself, we'd be getting down on some cilantro right now. Well, I'm glad you're not making them for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we all have to consume them, so better not put cilantro on Yes, there. me and my dad do not like cilantro at all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, um, the crab meat I use, since I use canned crab meat, and if you're going to use canned crab meat, you want to make sure you squeeze the mess out of your crab meat and make sure there's no water little if there is any moisture in your crab meat so i i close mine with some um cheesecloth yeah it's extremely important mm -hmm. <laughs> uh so i'm just putting some water on the sides of the uh, wonton wrappers the water acts as glue potentially and then i'm taking like just a heaping i would say tablespoon tablespoon or so so what would happen filling. um what would happen i'm sorry to interrupt you mm -hmm. I uh, was just thinking about that. If you were, let's say you didn't get all of your uh, water out of your crab, what would happen? It'll what, be, what would that do? like I was saying with the uh, cream cheese, it'll just turn into liquid, basically. Oh, okay. So, mm -hmm. makes sense. Yeah, so that's another thing you want to make make sure you look out for. Mm -hmm. Your uh, cream cheese, make sure it's at the right temperature and make sure your crab is, you know, relatively dry. Not okay. bone dry, but, you know. Right. Um, so, when I... Uh, form the wontons or the rangoons I just bring up all four corners and just seal them together um, with some of that water so make sure your uh, edges are sealed because even if your cream cheese is, is you know chilled or, or whatever or you got all the moisture out of your crab there still could be some leaks because you know that high grease would go directly into the right. wonton so mm -hmm. you're yeah. basically just frying the wontons because you right. could you could consume that filling just you know raw mm -hmm. if you're gonna call it raw but those are so cute yes they are and there's multiple ways you can do these you could take like the four pinch the corners and then bring those together you can fold it over and just you know make it a triangle if you wanted to i've seen them done multiple ways but i feel like this is the most common way i've seen it done so this is just what we went with I was pleasantly surprised, I must say, with how much flavor these have. Mm -hmm. You know, we've had them at restaurants before, and I'm telling you, these were just as good, if not better. Mm -hmm. Because um, they're, first of all, you know what's in them, and they were so easy to make. So Yeah, because I, I actually just went to a restaurant recently and got some, and they were like $4, and I only got three, so. Right, and look at this. <laughs> this was just so... You know, so convenient and easy to make. Mm -hmm. And this recipe uh, made 18 um, rangoons. So, depending on how much you fill, you know, how much filling you put in your rangoons, you can make more potentially. Right. And it just depends on how many um, how many you want to make, of course. Mm -hmm. If you make them for more for more people, of course, you would just, you know, make more filling. Yeah. So... So I put this, you can like deep, deep fry these in, you know, in a whole bunch of oil, but this is just a, a skillet I have on the stove with about an inch or so of oil in it. Enough for them to, you know, swim around, I guess you could say. <laughs> Dance around, yeah. as I call them. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to overcrowd your pan or anything, so be mindful of that. And then you don't, you also don't want to start moving them around too early because they'll just, you know, break right open. So. I actually had one leak on me, just one. And it's, it's up there at the top. Look at it, starting already. <laughs> um, but I think that's because I just flipped it over too early. And, right, and yeah, it, there it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I just went ahead and took that out so it wouldn't be causing no more problems. Yeah, these are good. Mm -hmm. I need to try these for real. Yeah. If you love fried rangoons, this is a great recipe. And they're so fast, like two to three minutes tops, if that how yeah. fast they cook this would be great for a party you know if you have people waiting you know you can wrap these up really quick and just cook them just mm -hmm. keep them coming yep you know we're proud of people and you can dip these in whatever you want to we just chose a uh, sweet chili sauce but um sweet and sour sauce would also be good and i think maybe some soy sauce if you want to if you're if you're not a heavy dipper right and we'll even try and make our, uh, our, our sauce next mm -hmm. time that sauce is really easy to make, but mm -hmm. we just convenience. We just wanted to pick up a bottle of it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, well, these are delicious. That's all flavor right there. Mm -hmm. All flavor. Those are so good. And then the wontons are crispy. Y'all let us know if you try this recipe. Yes. How you like it, know. and what else you put in it? Yeah, I was gonna say, or how you changed it up a little bit. 
yeah we always like to know that mm-hmm. so we're glad you guys are here and glad you and uh, watched the video yes thank you so much for joining us don't forget to like share and subscribe and hit the notification bell now we will see you on the next video